This morning, terror arrests. Two men arrested in Sydney just a day after the Prime Minister's warning. A man bashed to death at his Western Sydney home. And shop till you drop the Christmas buying frenzy in its final hours. This is 7 Morning News with Hermione Kitson. Good morning. A 20-year-old Sydney man has faced court today, charged with the possession of documents designed to facilitate a terrorist attack. Suleiman Khalid is one of two men arrested late yesterday as part of an ongoing joint investigation by Federal and New South Wales Police. Live now to Maria Jovanovic in Canberra. Maria, police have seized documents that include potential government targets. OK, thank you, Maria, for the latest. A man has been questioned over the bashing death of his father in Western Sydney last night. Matthew Snelson is outside the victim's home in Pemilway. Matthew, what happened to the 62-year-old? Full of energy and always smiling, that's how an eight-year-old boy killed in a Sydney construction site accident is being remembered today. Erwin Makafana was playing on concrete slabs at a church construction site in Leppington yesterday afternoon when several fell on top of him. He was taken to hospital with critical injuries but was pronounced dead on arrival. Foreign Minister Julie Bishop says she's optimistic journalist Peter Grester could be released from jail over the Christmas break. Ms Bishop spoke to her Egyptian counterpart two days ago and urged him to release Grester as soon as possible. Foreign Minister Shukri told her it is under consideration. Peter Grester will have spent a year behind bars on December 29. He's written a letter from his Cairo cell saying he feels proud and strengthened by what he's achieved in his fight for justice. Next in 7 News, a new treatment for rheumatoid arthritis sufferers. Why France has deployed extra soldiers. Also a first look at Monaco's new royal babies. The Tasmanian Director of Public Prosecutions is expected to be dismissed after receiving a four-year suspended jail sentence for negligent driving causing death. The magistrate said Tim Ellis was driving on the wrong side of the road when he crashed into a car and killed 27-year-old Natalia Pern. Ellis had pleaded not guilty to the crash, saying he must have fallen asleep. The Tasmanian government is considering if he will stay in the job. Hundreds of soldiers have been deployed across France in a security crackdown after a series of public attacks. One man deliberately drove into a crowded Christmas market, injuring nine people and leaving another dead. Another driver ploughed into pedestrians while shouting God is great in Arabic in the city of Dijon the day before. A man yelling the same phrase was shot dead after stabbing two police officers on the weekend. The French president has called an emergency meeting of cabinet. Taking finance news now, the Australian share market opened slightly higher this morning after positive overseas leads, but it's now sunk lower, with the ASX currently down five points ahead of an early close this Christmas Eve. The Australian dollar is buying 81 US cents, 98 Japanese yen and $1.05 New Zealand. Next in 7 News, more work to be done for defending Sydney Hobart Line Honours champ Wild Oats 11. Also another Australian batsman hit by friendly fire in the nets at the MCG. 24 hours after Shane Watson was felled in the nets, Sean Marsh has also sent a scare through the Aussie cricket camp. Tom Brown is at the MCG with the latest. The 117 skippers sailing in the 70th Sydney Hobart Yacht Race are putting the finishing touches on their preparations. There won't be much rest for the crew of defending Lion Honours champion Wild Oats 11. They'll train through Christmas Day to consolidate recent modifications. Strong southerly winds and choppy seas are expected for Friday's start. Challenging conditions for the five supermaxis in this year's race. Next in Seven's Morning News, your Christmas Day weather forecast with David Brown. Let's get a check of the all-important Christmas Day weather forecast now with David Brown. And how's it looking, Brownie? Yeah, good morning, Hermione. I must say, it is looking good in most of the major centres for the big day. In fact, let's check out our weather wall, first of all, in Brisbane right now. 
It's beautiful. Currently sitting on 29 degrees, heading for a top of 30. Yes, and we're almost there. In Sydney, different story. Cloudy. It is unsettled. We'll see a few showers pop up a little later this afternoon. It should reach a high of around 23 degrees. In fact, it's already 23. In Melbourne, fine mild conditions. A top of 21 degrees on the way for Christmas. Just a little bit warmer. And in Adelaide, it's another fine day. At the moment, 21 degrees. Heading for a top of 25. And that's about two below average for this time of year. In the west, another clear day expected in Perth, a top of 32 degrees for Hobart, fine 20. And the usual for this time of year, late afternoon storms in Darwin and 33 degrees. Now, over the next 24 hours, we'll see a cold front surge across the Southern Ocean. It's closing in on the southeast corner. It will bring a few showers to South Australia during the afternoon and eventually sweep through Melbourne tomorrow night. But uh, for the eastern seaboard, again, showers and storms building ahead of this uh, active trough. Most of that activity happening from late afternoon and persisting into the evening. So the forecast looked like this. For Brisbane, tomorrow for Christmas Day, fine, mostly sunny and around 30. For Sydney, well, it should be fine in the morning, cloud building with a few showers and storms popping up around mid-afternoon, should reach a top of around 28 degrees. Melbourne, a fine day, 25 degrees, a few showers pushing through tomorrow night. For Adelaide, a fine morning, 22, some, well, just a shower or two around mid-afternoon, and Perth remaining dry, 31 degrees. Boxing Day, well, for Sydney, we'll see one or two clearing showers and, of course, a strong headwind for the uh, Sydney, the Hobart fleet as it gradually pushes down the coast during Boxing Day. For Melbourne, for the, for the test, a few clearing showers, cool, around 20 degrees, Adelaide fine 22, Perth sunshine and 32 degrees. Now, a sneak peek at New Year's Eve, some good news again, Melbourne fine 25, a beautiful day on the way for Sydney around 32, and a hot one expected in Perth for uh, New Year's Eve around 35 degrees. That's the latest weather. Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. Hermione. And to you too, Brownie. And finally, Santa has started his annual journey from the North Pole. He's been spotted having a rest stop with his reindeer in rural Finland. It will be a bit warmer by the time he arrives here in Australia around midnight tonight to spread some Christmas joy. And that is 7 News to Now. I'm Hermione Kitson. Have a safe and happy Christmas. Goodbye.